when the blood or urine is in fact collected and subsequently the lab sends back to the police officer the results and if the results are the, the, the blood alcohol is 0.08 or greater or there's any amount of drugs, substance or intoxicating compounds then the officer uh, must in fact give notice of the summary suspension in person or by mail. Normally the officer will mail it as we talked about to the last known address. Uh, if in fact uh, the officer should check the last known address of the motorist in the, in the computer. If in fact it is the last known address that the officer has, they should mail it to the one the officer had. If there's a new address, the officer should mail it to the new one. Um, 11501.1 F requires immediate notice, either by a breath or refusal immediately or if in fact there is a blood result and the officer is going to mail a notice of the statutory summary suspension then the officer uh, shall serve immediate notice and the statute requires within a reasonable time after the receipt of the lab report. What hasn't been, there's no fine line, there is no gold standard in which you say okay how many days is reasonable how many days is not reasonable. It's a case by case method. From the defense standpoint, uh, they should be aware that if in fact, and from the prosecutor's standpoint, if in fact the notice is mailed 33 days later after the officer received the blood, the appellate court found that was immediate notice. So when, if in fact it's a year or two and the defense is then served with it, I think there will be more uh, likely uh, to file a petition to strike as not being immediate and that would then put the burden on the prosecutor to figure out why it wasn't mailed for a year or two. At that point, the prosecutor would want to throw their hands up in the air and say, okay, that's enough. We're not going to deal with this. That's not a proper note. It is important that, from the defense standpoint, that once the blood tests are, resolved, are, are in fact obtained and it is sent, that there is a blood kit. And under the Illinois State uh, Rules and Regulations Department of State Police, uh, the defense attorney should in fact be aware of this blood kit and the blood kit they should take a look at it. The prosecutor also wants to take a look at it to see what is the defense attorney going to raise with the blood kit. Is there a problem with this blood kit which in required uh, the, the, uh, the 08 uh, 